All right, so we've been talking with our sponsors, and we're going to be cutting these press conferences in half, so shorter press conferences. Uh, but now Hikaru Mugen will answer questions per usual. Stepping up right now, J.D. Gaddis asks, With your side dropping points in the league for the first time, are you worried about the potential pressure from PSV and Escobar? Pressure? Pressure down on me. Pressure down on you. No matter, so. But we have exquisite firepower. So much more than the firepower than they have. If we keep on banging in the goals, banging in the goals, then the pressure is on them and Escobar. If you are listening, suck my Japanese dick. All right, so sponsors probably ain't gonna like that. So on to our second and final question. Tariq Ahmed asks, Brian Clo has praised Jose Mourinho in his early days. Recently, however, Mourinho has said that he likes you, Hikari Mugen, and thinks that you get some of his traits from him. What do you think about these comments? Made, and can you see a Mourinho Guardiola rivalry between you and Santiago Bar? Mourinho san? Mourinho san? See the that about me? Oh, oh. Oh, I, I hit a bomber. Oh, such a hard bomber. When I hear that, as for. A Mourinho Guardiola rivalry between me and Escobar. I say that a Mourinho son, Guardiola son, and Mugin son rivalry would be more interesting, don't you think? Ooh, bold words from you, Mugin. But anyway, that's gonna be it. You're free to go. Arigato. Zanotes. Oh, welcome back, you bunch of weirdos. This is the FIFA 17 IX Career Mode. And guys, I've been hearing you loud and clear, all right? You guys don't want the press conferences every single time. I'll be working on something fresh, something new to give out to you. But before we start, can I smash a 200 likes? Because I gotta gargle the hog of YouTube and leave the hashtag fist me YouTube down in the comments down below. Now, let's get into it. You guys voted, you want Bertrand Traore. The Chelsea loanee, the man who's been loaned out by Chelsea like a million bajillion freaking times, you know, out. And when, you know, I was scouting him, who he reminds me of is kind of like his teammate. Not in all facets, but he, the way that he runs, the way that he can just absolutely rinse an opponent and then put a calm, rounded finish in the back of the net, kind of reminds me of his teammate Eden Hazard. Look at that beautifully shaped finish right there. Excellent technique. His ability to stop, start, finesse into the far post. How many times have we seen Hazard hit a hit a goal like that? You know what I'm saying? And great strength, great technical ability, uh, terrible dancing skills. I don't know how well <laughs> Hazard dances, but good instincts to arrive in the moment and deliver a good finish. He's an unfinished. He's very, very raw. I would still say he he started to break into the Chelsea lineup at the beginning of last year, but. When he is on, look at him absolutely skin his opponent right there and the strength to hold him on and the choppiness. The choppiness of how he dribbles really reminds me of just like squint. It looks like Hazard. And what's another thing that surprised me, look at the vision from this kid. Look at all these delightful insights. This is how long he's been at Chelsea. Lukaku, he assisted Lukaku at one point in his career. Lovely stuff going ahead, playing in these incisive through balls and then great vision to see the big boy. Douglas Costa, the pantomime villain, goes ahead, gets an assist there. And look at this. He's got a cannon of a left foot. He is left footed. And when he wants to, he can put him away from distance. Maybe not at the level of like Bailly, but remember, Bailly's playing at like Genk while freaking Traore was playing. You know, his he was exquisite in the air divisie. I believe he's only two seasons away from playing with Vitis, who were playing later in this episode uh, with a return of 13 goals and five assists. While playing in the Eredivisie Air last, so very interesting. If you look at his stats right here, great strength. That is the number one key thing. If he can grow in his strength, he would be an absolute tyrant on that right wing. But remember, we brought him in, and then we have an option to buy him for $7.5 million at the end of the year. Do we do it? I don't know. And as you can see right here, Ziek leading the league. I just want to give you an update. Leading the league in both assists and in freaking goals. Oh my, oh my. Actually, it's a three-way tie with IX guys at top of the assists. Dolberg, Klassen, and Ziyech all um, have five assists right now with Ziyech leading the league with ten goals. Can he extend it? And there we go. This is the lineup that we're going with. Klassen, all the usual suspects. Dolberg, San, you know, uh, Treorwe, Riddlewald, Sanchez, Tete. Oh, na na in the back, in between the sticks. The big bad, Bazor, also in, and Bailly. Oh, there's a Bailly. It's probably Bailey. 
and then uh, the Mr. The Donk Donk uh, going ahead and anchoring this. NEC will be our opponent. NEC is like the whole city of the Era Divisi. They were relegated really in 2014, but then they pop right back up in 2015. I guess they're just one of those teams that always just flows with I'm not even into their, their actual name. You guys, you, you know, you Dutch boys, I see you lurking. I see you lurking in the comment section. Let me know. I still want to very much, you know, get all the pronunciations right. So keep me on point, guys. They're playing fourth, uh, they're playing four through three while we enact our three, four, three. And a lot of you guys have been asking, why don't you play more 4-3-3? The reason why is like a bunch of, already there's so many teams that play 4-3-3. The, you know, the 3-5-2 variation and the 3-4-3 variation actually provides a natural counter to a lot of 4-3-3 teams. So, I think if we are able to advance to Champions League, uh, it would be something interesting to see if our formations could hold up classes. And this is what I'm talking about. Could we stay classy standards, unfortunately? Uh, you know, the Phoenix is not so classy, so But then, he's gonna go ahead and bring a little bit of redemption. Beautiful run in Klaassen. Beautifully weighted assist incisiveness to a T. And Casper, the friendly ghost, goes ahead and delivers it. I don't know why I'm playing the John Cena music, but it was kind of awesome. I want to give everyone a theme. I already have Casper. It's a little bit Greek. Like, Casper Dolberg already has the Ghostbusters theme because he is a friendly ghost. Who should I provide the... Who should I give, like, uh, the, uh... The John Cena one, maybe to see it, and I wanna, I wanna give a little bit of goal clap, clap it up to NEC because they did not open their legs like a whore in Amsterdam. No, they did not. They were in it, man. Look at it, hard tackles on the man of the episode, Bertrand Traore, and in the second half, they were coming for that. Look at this incisiveness going in. It, the only thing that failed them was it's like they forgot their finishing boots in the net. But look at this passing over, and this deserved a goal. But oh, na na. What is thy name? Go ahead and grab it and save right there. Lovely stuff. And then, inspired by that great save. Oh, the beautiful over the top. The straight to hold him off. And a great little tucked away finish. Rounding. Finesse shots. Low, driven, and true into that bottom hand corner. Is the man, the myth of this episode, Bertrand Traore. Displaying everything that I want to see from him. You know, pace, strength, incisiveness. And of course, a lovely finish. And this should have been a second finish, but that was an atrocious. I guess that's what I get for trying to be a little bit swooty. And there we go. Oh, now I'm going ahead claiming. Can he get another clean sheet? Hit the air We see the keeper is off his line. Can we pull another Cassiera? Costa Davey peels it up. Goodbye. The Bailey fired it. And you can see that. That's getting nowhere near where it should be. I saw glory. And I went for it. And I think no one, no one in the comments section. Would ha could blame me for doing such audacity. But there we go. I mean, good on NEC. A labored 2-0 win. You know, as labored as get class and, you know, uh, staying classy, getting man of the match. It was very good. Put it in the shift. You know, tackled all-round player. I don't know why you guys haven't voted for Klaas. He's the captain of Real Life Ajax, I believe. And he's the captain of our team. And he's a great, great player. Kind of an unsung hero on the side. He's not as slashy as Ziek. He doesn't have a cool, catchy, you know, nickname like Big Bad Bazaar. He just kind of goes about it. He's balding, for God's sakes. Give this man help. Vote for Klaas, man. Go ahead. Leave him. Go ahead. This is a poll right here. Vote for him. Please. But, as you can see right here, let's go ahead and check out the boys that we're bringing in. Belgium! You guys voted on them, on bringing in Belgium, and they have been a goal of oh, man. And in the last episode, we signed two of the youngsters, Justin Houston, or uh, Heston, uh, I, I, I apologize. Uh, he didn't even turn up, but this guy right here, Bram Brune, center back CDM, he's only, you know, 5'10", maybe he grows a little bit more. Five star weak foot, one star still moves, but he's a center back, so who freaking cares. But he's already, you know, pretty damn strong in the physicals, you know, like 70s and the pace and the strength, the agility, loving it, loving it all good. Now we go up against Vitis, and this is the lineup that we're starting, basically the same exact lineup that we started in the last match. And the reason why I'm going, you know, chalk for starter starters is because the last match, remember, is a Champions League match, if you guys don't know. Uh, we aren't allowed to use our starters in the Champions League as a punishment, so... We're going chalk once again in this one, and we're probably not going to use too many substitutions because I want to keep them fresh. It's not too, it's only, I believe, three days away from our very, very vital Champions League match over this. Now, Vatiz is very, very well known. It's the ex-home of Bertrand Troy. And, uh, you know, it's 
I always kind of look at them as a like Chelsea loanee team or kind of like a feeder team because they've, they've loaned the likes of, you know, right now even they have three loanees. Lewis Baker, Nathan the Brazilian, and the American Matt Miazga over there. Bertrand Trori, of course, was over there for a while. Oh, freaking, I, I'm blanking on like the last thing. Basically, they're they're one of the safe havens, <laughs> like the, the loanee havens for Chelsea, and they got a couple left over here. Now, what will we do in this situation? Batiste, great movement from the Chelsea Loney, Nathan right there, and then beautiful incisive pass, but Klassen doesn't have the pace to go ahead and get onto that 45th minute. That was it, man. A half bereft of much highlights. You know, definitely Batiste had that good chance with the header, but Nathaniel could not keep it down. And was that a penalty? It is not Dendonker. Good, good stuff. And is he steals it away? Can he put anything? Can he punish these mistakes from the other Chelsea Loney, Matt Miazga? And then uh, Badonka Dunk going ahead, getting taken down. Fires it in. Terrible kick, but uh, still in the danger zone. Tries to flip it in. Just caging this man. Just caging this back and forth. No real quality in the third. You know, it was a little bit of a struggle, but then the beautiful over the top ball to Vanderbeek oh, yeah! getting in. Look at him. I think he started in. This is the 80th minute. We brought him in as a substitution. The fresh legs showing beautiful stuff. He is. Many see him as, a, you know, I mean, this is kind of cliche, but the next bright young talent of Ajax. He's been showing very, very well in real life. Some say he has a higher end, you know, potential than the likes of you know he has a higher trajectory than big bad bazaar even in the attacking sense so uh, one to watch right there and actually popping up at a crucial time and now we see going to flip it in clausen fires it right at the keeper finally goes and gets past it but cleared off of the line now minute made it clausen can we get our second zx gets blocked off the line bailey gets onto it another clear how are we gonna do look at this and i mean it was a belabored Effort once again, but Donnie Vanderbeek, the youngster, stepping up, and these these are the games, man. These are the games that we want to win, that we need to win if we want to keep distance from PSV, because they are absolutely booty hole raping the league. And as you can see right here, I pulled it a little bit more defensive in the second half. I needed Bailey a little bit closer to Calmetis. Um, in that midfield to go ahead and end it off nine shots seven shots on targets 53 possession It was a lot closer in this match, you know three three shots from the teeth But they were quality chances if Nathan puts that on target, you know, that's easily we're dropping two points right there Virgin Troy getting up and here we go um, Shout outs to the guy right here. I'll post it up right here. I'm a terrible Asian I didn't do the math right so if we lose even by one it would put the goal differential so that sporting would be on top of us. So I, I went into the dressing room, gave the boys, you know, the motivational speech, the awe-inspiring speech. Couldn't fit it into this. It was, it was, it's too long. It's too long of an episode, so I, I couldn't fit the speech in. But just take my word for it. It was, it was pretty awesome. It was pretty, um, you know, it got your balls, it got your balls all, all, all going, whatever that means. But let's go. Enough of sperm talk. Let's go. Isak, Cherny. We need the youngsters to step up more than ever. Mbappe Lawton, who hasn't pretty much, he's been showing a lot, but yet to grab a goal. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> this is this is squeaky bum time. This is like nipple tingly time. Uh, X. Win and advance. Well, win and draw and advance. Lose and go home. These are the nights, man. These are the nights that legends are made and we're relying on the youth and it is only poetic that we rely on the youth for we are Ajax Sporting famous for producing the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo look at that they got Bas Doist up front Gelson Martins the speed merchant on left Ryan Ruiz the ex Swansea man Semedos you know dominating a lot of pace a lot of strength a lot of talent on this sporting side and they were showing it early on Gelson Martins terrorizing our left back, look at the pacing back and forth. Cruel, great oh! save right there. But Doss goes down. <laughs> I thought for a second it was a penalty, but it is not. Thankfully, the big boy not going down all too easy. Now, Nori, the youngster, the bright young talent, flips into the middle. Can't get anything onto that. No good end product. Nori linking up good one, two from Cherny. What he's going to do inside? Dribbles onto the inside, back to Cherny. Over to Isak, who gets over to Shona. Shona, over to Lawton. And I thought Mbappe. I thought that he was beat, but actually, the man who's a featherweight goes Mighty Mouse all of a sudden. 
shields off the defender. This has been an episode of shielding off your defender wrong side of them and finds his first goal for Ajax at the most crucial time. Yes, boy! <laughs> And with that, I was like, alright, I wasn't going to be too unsportsmanlike, but we're definitely going to play a little bit more defensive in this one. Adam Milson on the overlap, can we possibly find a second good little body feint to the inside? Nori lays it on to Isaac! Beto just getting enough onto this, and now Brian on the overlap over to Silva. Andre into the middle, cruel claims. The dirty sweat. And now we're back on the other side. Beautiful through ball. To Galmenes, you have to put that away. What are you doing, Galmenes? We need you, buddy. We need it. That's so bad. That could have been all that she wrote. And that provided a lifeline for Sporting to go ahead, rise, go forward. Brian, the ex Chelsea, the ex Swansea man getting into the middle. Beautifully across. An unmarked Gelson Martins. The danger man flips it. Cool. No. We leave. Well, that's what we get. We leave a completely unmarked Delson Martins at the far post. And that is what we get. We get fucking, we get fucking turned in the, uh, in the chocolate pooper on that one. And then they were coming. We needed that second one. I was not comfortable. I could easily feel us crumpling apart. We needed the second. Cherny gets absolutely mauled, but somehow fights through and gets the two defenders. And it is. It is the mighty mouse of Ajax. We just wanted it. You could feel that the players, the youngsters, they just wanted it more. Oh, get sexy, Charlie. Get sexy on the billboards. Yes. Adam Wilson going ahead. You are my son. You are my sunshine, Charlie. <laughs> Lovely tucked away finish. Extending, reaching out full length. Going Mr. Fantastic. Somehow toe pokes it into the back of the net for possibly the most crucial goal of this season. But look at this, symbolic defending, de probably should have given up a goal on that one. But lucky, lucky ducky that we go ahead, find the post, but we give it right back. I'm putting it far, I needed to bring it. I was like, no, no. Bring in the fresh legs, bring in the reinforcements. People that we haven't even played this year. Serino gets his first play time, Osadebe. Men who had plus 80 plus pace, good stamina, and we just wanted to hold on. Hold on for one more day. That's Deutz, moving into the middle to Elias, pushing it far wide, 80th minute. We just need to hold on, good strength from Isak, but no run from Semedo on the overlap. Brian fires, great save from Timothy Cruel, aka the Tentacruel man, reaching out his water type and poison type arm, and says, you shall not pass, I have cast protect on this goal. And now a crucial, crucial corner. We need to defend well, lads. Strong lads. Strong lads. Adam Milson. Anywhere will do. 84th minute. Joel Campbell coming in now. Bastoid slipping it in. Tomato firing it. But no quality there. A poor time tackle on Ryuz. It's through. We must protect this house. Tomato letting us off the hook once again. And that is it, boys. We have done it. On a skeleton crew of just youngsters, after being battered over and over by Borussia Dortmund, we have snuck one goal win after one goal win after one goal win to advance in the Champions League. As Way would say, emotional. Emotional, man. I just, just sometimes, man, you feel it. You feel it. I felt like, I felt so happy for the young lads, man. For real. You're playing a video game, but you're just like, they fucking did it. They fucking stepped the fuck up. And they did it. KG stuff, they, 10 shots. 10 shots, man. We were the juggernaut back there. We were a freaking great wall of the Netherlands, if you will. Tim Cruel, aka Tentacruel, that water poison type, was super effective in this match. Shielding him off. Mbappe Lawton just doing enough, man. By the skin of our testicles, we advance. Look at that. Look at that. And that is, that is so fucking Ajax, man. I'm sorry for swearing, but I'm getting a little emotional just watching these kids. Inspirational, man. In freaking inspirational. And I don't know, man. I, I think for the Champions League, I got to play some of the youngsters. I just have to. I think I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to bring some of the big boys in, you know, bring in like Onana and definitely bring the better defense. But 
the youngsters, they showed me something, man. Now I might have to mix up the squads a bit more, rotate the squads, because that's how YX is, man. I understand. I understand now. I've been reading up on them and studying them. If, if you're good, it doesn't matter how old you are. If you're good and you're great and you're ready, we'll play. And that is what we want to do. That is what we want to continue to do. And guys, emotional seeds. I am on the brink of tears. And if that gave you a boner in your heart, please smash out those likes for me. Keep this small channel alive. And I will see you very, very soon. Can't we can get 200 likes. I'll try out another one, man, because I just love making this career mode so much. If you get 200 likes, I'll get another one of these out by Sunday. Mark my words. Go ahead, smash out the likes right now. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, click right here. Ding! And I got a collab that is about to drop tomorrow. Get ready for Hometown Heroes version 2, where I pitch off up against Rich Lay. Anyway, my name is B-Modest. Remember, stay yourself, stay humble, and be weird.